A lot has happened in the last 24 hours since the news of five arrests broke out in the press conference and in the naming of these perpetrators. Authorities gave us details that we did not know. Some of this took us by surprise. I will speak for myself, at least for myself. But let's talk about Brooke Mueller because a couple months ago, Brooke Mueller had been repeatedly questioned by the authorities in connections with the criminal investigation of Matthew Perry's death. At that time that she was being questioned, she was completely cooperative, okay? She was. Um, they executed a, a search warrant. And in this search warrant, they confiscated her iPhone, her laptop, and other items, okay? Now, Brooke Mueller wasn't taken into custody. There was no handcuffs or anything like that. But as far as the investigation goes, you know, she was questioned. She was questioned. And the questioning surrounded Matthew Perry and potentially these other individuals that she might have known. I think Brooke Mueller knew that these arrests were going to come down, okay? Um, simply because... Some of these individuals hang out with each other. Okay. Just recently I posted on my community wall, this picture that right there, my friends is Charlie Sheen and the lady over here. Okay. That is Jasmine Sangha. Okay. AKA the uh, ketamine queen. So these individuals have hung out in each other's circles. And what's interesting is the more you peel the onion, the more you find pictures of these um, individuals hanging out with these you know, celebrities. When she received that search warrant, when, you know, her items were confiscated by law enforcement, she immediately got legal representation, which I think would make sense, right? A source had then reported that she had hired lawyers and had multiple meetings with law enforcement and complied with the search warrant. She was very tight lip about the situation, but people were questioning her role in Matthew Perry's death at that time, or if she had a role. She had been adamant that she had nothing to do with it. And I mean, clearly she's not among the people arrested, uh, the five, right? So one could say that, but I do wonder is the circles that these people hang out with, you know, they supply each other, whatever kind of narcotic. Um, it makes you wonder what else have they been doing? What other doors is this going to open to other conversations that they might've looked at to figure out if there are other players, especially in the celebrity world that could very well be connected to a lot of this, which to me, I mean, even the whole idea of a network, right. Which is what, what the authority said in their press conference is very telling about just some deep connections. In addition to this, TMZ is also reporting on the Brooke Mueller having deeper connections to Matthew Perry's death. There are sources that are saying that Brooke Mueller was in rehab, okay, with Matthew Perry and Jasmine, okay, that somehow all the AK Academy Queen, that these individuals might have been together in rehab all three at the same time in an LA facility. Now, I would like to see receipts of this, but it wouldn't surprise me if that is the case. Like, like I said, these people know each other. What is so sad about this whole situation too, and keep in mind is that, you know, the personal assistant, right? This wasn't a personal assistant that Matthew Perry had probably just hired. It was somebody that had been in his corner for a good, for over 20 years. And I think it speaks to greed, right? His closeness to Matthew Perry, he definitely violated that. And a lot of you guys in the comments, there was a couple people that said like, it's just another celebrity. You know what I'm saying? Like, why have empathy for someone like Matthew Perry or why have empathy? I have a lot of empathy for people that fall victim and or vulnerable to such situations where they're dealing with a substance abuse problem, um, that makes them vulnerable, right? This isn't about whether he was a great actor. This isn't about whether who or what. There is another young man that in this whole situation died, right? Back in 2019, and it surprises me. In the story about this young man, and I was able to pull his obituary, I was able to kind of read a little bit of him. It's, he only did ketamine one time, and then he passed away. Everybody in addiction can find themselves in a very vulnerable situation. And yes, although I believe that people have you know, the ability to make decisions over their lives and what they do and what they not do. When you're in the throes of addiction, okay? And 
a lot of the the people here in, in this conversation in this video, Brooke Mueller, Charlie Sheen, um, all these people have been in in addiction, right? And they party with addiction and addicted minded folks, and you know they're in there and they can't seem to stop. To a certain degree, that makes them vulnerable. Doesn't mean we have to stop doing what we're doing to go help. It just it's good to bring some awareness to what is going on because addiction can, it doesn't discriminate. It can impact anybody. And this is why I find myself to have a lot of empathy for Matthew Perry's situation for, for the young man that was lost in 2019 by the name of Cody McLaurie. He was 33 years old when he's died and his death was also classified as an accident with his, with all the drugs in his system, acute ketamine, Heroin, methamphetamine, and cocaine toxicity. All of this is out there. This woman gave this man um, a dose that killed him. I'm just surprised that we know this and how somehow this is this wasn't criminal then. This was considered an accidental death, I guess, or an accident, okay? And the death occurred in his residence, and he was pronounced dead in the morning. Um, and the way they labeled it is considered an accident, unintentional drug overdose. We don't know if it's just Matthew Perry or Cody, may he rest in peace. We don't know if there could be other ones. That's the thing. It's like, even listening to the investigator in the conference, they talk about how they track all overdose deaths, that kind of situation, all drug related deaths like that. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure that there could be failures. And a lot of this seems like there's just so much out there so much substances people are manufacturing it people are bringing it from a different country i mean that's what people are doing i have a lot of empathy for this situation not just for matthew perry but for anybody that's you know struggling with addiction i don't know guys you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments i'll see you guys on the next one rabbits out bye guys